How's it going everyone and welcome back to LT Thread 8. Now I recently had a comment on one of my videos uh, from an Adventure of 5M owner who was having Z offset issues. So today I'm going to walk you through how to manually adjust your Z offset through Orca Flash Forge, Orca Slicer, Flash Print and directly on the printer itself. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, if you're someone who is experiencing Z offset issues on this machine, then you're not alone. I've experienced some of the same issues straight after firmware updates. Now, before we get into manually adjusting the Z offset, I would definitely recommend first removing the nozzle, cleaning the tip and the build plate, then reinstalling the nozzle and running a full calibration. If this doesn't then solve your Z offset issue, then we'll have to manually adjust it. Onboard the printer is probably the easiest and my first recommendation if you're not sure on how far you need to increase or decrease the Z offset. So first off, we need to start a print. Once the print is started, we're going to press the info button then the edit pen button in the corner and adjust this variable here, which is the Z offset. By adjusting this while the printer is printing, it will allow us to find the perfect height for a perfect first layer. Once we have found that, simply press the tick and it will be saved on board the printer. This first example here shows a Z offset that is too high. And as you can see from the images, it is not sticking that first layer nicely on the bed. It is definitely printing in the air and it's not sticking properly at all. These next set of images here show pretty much a perfect, if not pretty good first layer with a properly set Z offset.
Now, I'm not sure if this saves through firmware updates or whether it resets, because I know in past firmware updates, they've actually had in the logs that they've updated the Z offset. So I'm not sure whether this is gonna be the best option if you're continuing on updating. So the next couple of methods through Orca Flash Forge, Orca Slicer and Flash Print may be better options as I know for a fact you can save the Z offset to the printer profile in Orca Slicer and Orca Flash Forge. To manually adjust the Z offset of your printer inside Orca Flash Forge and Orca Slicer, simply press the edit or options button next to your printer's name then locate the Z offset and adjust it accordingly. Negative values bring the nozzle closer to the bed and positive adds more space if you're finding that your nozzle is too close to the bed. To manually adjust the Z offset of your printer inside Flash Print, you first need to import a file and select Start Slicing. Once in the Slicing settings, navigate to the Others section and then locate Z offset and adjust it accordingly. As previously mentioned, negative values bring the nozzle closer to the bed and positive adds more space if you find that your nozzle is too close to the bed. If you can't see these options in flash print, then it's because you're in beginner mode and you need to change it to expert mode. And that can simply be done by pressing this little button in the bottom left corner here. And that's it. You have adjusted your Z offset and hopefully, hopefully this has fixed your issues. Um, let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any other videos that you'd like me to make, you know, more tips and tricks, troubleshooting, other things, then obviously drop those down below. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Um, and as always, happy printing.